Hello and welcome to another episode of Driveway Dudes. Today we're going to fit this outdoor double switch socket. And you will need a drill and a couple of other tools, but most importantly, wear eye protection and ear protection. So this is going to be mounted on the outside of the shed so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it 36 inches from ground level and then with a marker or a sharpie just mark where it's going to go. Now this is the casing that's going to be screwed onto the wall and as you can see it has points for where the screws go and the center point where the cable is going to run out. So what we'll do then is we'll offer it up to where I've marked it and with your spirit level try and get it as even as possible and then what you can do is you can mark around it get a rough idea uh, and what we need to do then after that is because this is a dashed wall, we'll need to chip off some of that dashing so it will sit nice and flush to the wall. Put on your safety glasses and then bash away. Now you can see I used the hammer at an angle so it will chip the stones away. When you're ready then just punch out the holes in the box itself and then offer it up again. Uh, again and just make sure that you're getting a level. Let's put the level on there and hold it in place. While you have it held in place then just mark out where you're going to drill. So we have it there in the center. We have one, two, three and four. Now before you drill make sure there's no obstruction on the other side of the wall and also decide on how big the hole is going to be depending on the cable you're going to use. Now I'm using the cable off an old extension lead and it'll be far and it'll be good enough then to go to the socket within the shed so I can plug and unplug it. Now also a good idea to drill the hole around the same size if not a little bit smaller than the cable itself. And when you're drilling, drill up at an angle because if there is any moisture or water, it won't be able to get in. Putting on your safety eyewear and your ear protectors, then you can start drilling. And it was spot on. And for the four other holes, then you'll need to drill with a smaller drill bit and using the roll plugs we don't want to be any bigger than that otherwise they'll just flap around in the hole so providing you still have your marks there then you can drill away again with this one now you can drill straight in then with a slightly bigger drill bit just open up the hole slightly and pop in the roll plugs. Tap them in for the hammer. Now we're ready to screw the box into place. Offer the box up, feed the cable through the center piece and you'll see that they're all lined up nicely. So what you do then is get a screw in and start it by hand. Get your driver, whether it be battery or hand. Just get that started, 
then get the next one in by hand. Don't screw them all down tight until you have it lined up. So get it in a bit. And the next one. And the next one. As soon as you have them about halfway in then just check to see that they're at level because there is some adjustment that you can make and once you're happy then tighten them up. And there we have it fixed to the wall. To protect the screws from corrosion, the company that manufactured the box was kind enough to supply little caps that go over the screws. So what we do is we'll just pop them into place and they should protect the screws for longer than they would have lasted it open to the elements. Also to note as well, if the cable is not as big or the hole that you drill is much bigger than the cable, you can, after you have connected everything, you can pump some silicone into the hole and that will help to give you extra protection against dampness. Now here we have the face that's going to go on and as you can see it's a double switch socket and it's also 13 amp protected. On the back of it you have your neutral, your live and you have an earth on both sides. Now the cable that I'm using has an earth on it which will go into one of the earth and the second one will go onto the box there's an earth under here. And again the colour coding depending on your country you would want to check the instructions in the box or check with your local electricity supply. When you're happy with the wiring and it, it's completed, then we'll screw it onto the wall. So you can push that cable back in and just push it into place. And there are screws built into the casing, so you can screw them on. Just make sure they're nice and tight. Again, the manufacturer was kind enough to supply little tabs to cover the screws again. So what we'll do is we'll just pop them into place. And it's all done. Now we gotta test it. So, using the drill that I drilled the holes earlier, I'll just Put it in there, switch it on, and as you can see, the power light has come on. So we'll just give the drill a quick test. That's working. Switch it off. Put it over onto the other one. Switch on. Again, you can see the little power light. Just check the drill, and it's working. Again, we can check to see that it works right when it's down and locked in locked so and happens to be raining outside 
it's not going to get wet in there. Well, there you have it. it wasn't a very difficult job. So, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Feel free to drop a comment, like, share and subscribe. And you can find us on Facebook, Blogger, Twitter and Instagram.